Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm trying to get organized in front of me right here. I am going to be trying and oh my goodness, look who showed up to say hello. 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 Yes, Mellow, they're all here for you. Okay, so I think Mellow just came upstairs to check on me to make sure I was working. I tell you, that supervisor, he's going to give me a letter of supervisory concern, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You're going to write me up, aren't you? I know. I know, boo-boo. Anyway, guys, here he is. He's making sure that we're uh, we're working, okay? So um, for this Friday, one of the things that I was thinking of doing was I was thinking of talking to you guys about in brilliance and how i use it okay the different modules that i have and the things that i do while you know using all different modules okay because i have been getting a lot of questions about this like some of the folks are saying that they're um they saved up for it or they're asking for it for christmas and i want to make sure that you guys get the right modules that you guys are looking for if this is something that you want to do okay now, there is a lot of other embroidery software out there, like there's Hash, there's So What Pro, but the reason why I don't use those other ones, it has nothing to do with bad quality or anything like that, okay? I am sure that they are fantastic softwares. The only thing is that I am a Mac girl. And if you are all Mac products, you are kind of like stuck, okay? But it's not a bad stuck because Imbrillance is a very good embroidery software. But it's the only one that I have been able to find that actually works with the Mac. So I decided, you know, um, I don't want to go to Windows. I mean, we used to use Windows machines. I didn't like them because I always, every like three or four years, I had to replace my all my workstations because they would crash and a lot of issues and stuff like that. So I, you know, I, we made the decision as a family to just do Mac and, um, and I love it. Okay. I mean, my cousin Betty has, has a Mac that's like nine years old, her MacBook pro and like, it still works. So I was just like, okay, they're expensive, but they're, they're kind of worth the money. So that's why we all chose as a family to go to the Mac side. But unfortunately, sometimes when you use Mac, not all, you know, there's, you know, sometimes you can't find everything to work on the Mac. But so far, you know, I've been okay. But when it came to looking for an embroidery software, I was kind of like in a pickle. So the only thing that I was able to find was in Brilliance. So before I bought it, you know, um, I know that some people come out and say, well, you know, you could actually like um, put a Windows version on your Mac and then you can run like a Windows slash, you know, Mac machine i guess um my husband has that on his mac but i don't want to do that i don't like complicating things and stuff so i was just like no i don't want to do it so i looked into in brilliance and i did find that it was pretty easy to use um and i kind of liked it that there was a lot of support out there but i know that i use that in all of my videos and i do get a lot of questions about how did i do certain things and what module do I have and stuff like that. So I wanted to share that with you guys about all the different stuff that I have on Brilliance, the modules that I have, what I use a lot and what I don't use a lot, okay? So I'm gonna start sharing the screen, okay? I don't I don't see my sister on or Miss Max, uh, I mean, Miss Banks, but that's okay. Um, what I am going to do is I have my iMac next to me, okay? So I will be able to see what you guys see when I go to, you know, switch screens and stuff like that. Because I do remember the time when we decided to go online shopping and I was looking at stuff and I thought you guys could see what I saw. And that was kind of like a mess. And then poor Miss Banks was calling me and I hung up on her going, no, no, I'm, I'm on a lie, you know? So anyway, but let's get down to it, all right? So let's talk about In Brilliance, all right? Now, In Brilliance does have a free version out there, okay? And it's called In Brilliance Express. 
All right. And um, if you don't have the funds to invest in it, what I strongly recommend is that you download the free version. And I'm going to um, go ahead and I'm going to add my um, add this to the screen. OK, and I'm going to go now to in brilliance and I'm going to show you. Let's see. Where are the free ones? OK, so as you can see, I'm in the I'm in brilliance right now. OK. And, yep, I'm looking, okay, because I'm looking at my iPad also to make sure that I didn't lose you guys. Um, let me see, it's been a while since I've done this, but I want to make sure I tell you exactly where to go, okay? Under here, let me see, there you go. No, yep, I think this is it. Okay, here. If you look over under products, you're going to see something that says free utilities. Now, here it has Express. Now, Express is something that you can download, and then you can just try it out, Okay. So if you like don't know if you want to invest in this um, particular embroidery software, don't worry about it. Just download the free version, play around with it, see if it's something that you're comfortable with, okay? Because I'm going to tell you something up front. When you're getting your embroidery software, make sure that when you invested it, you're investing in something that you're very, very comfortable with. The last thing that you want to do is to buy embroidery software that you really don't understand how to use it and you have a really difficult time because you want this to be an enjoyable experience. So I'm just letting you know up front. So, you know, download free versions, whatever software you go to, okay? If you're if you're going to use Hatch, if you're going to use Sowa Pro, ask them if they have a trial. So that way you could go ahead and you can play around with it, make sure you're comfortable with it, that you understand the, um, you know, the, the screens and, you know, and look on YouTube and see if you could find a lot of um, videos showing you how to use the software, see how their support works and everything. Because embroidery software can be a lot of money, okay? So just like when you're doing your research to buy your embroidery machine, you want to make sure that you're doing the research to buy the software as well, okay? So just want to give you that, that little heads up, okay? All right, so um, the way that in Brilliance work is the first thing you do is you buy the home, right? And the home is essentials, right? And I'm going to click on this right here. And this is pretty cool. And it tells you kind of like what you can do with this. Now, as you can see, they have a sale that's going on. Now, I'm going to tell you something, boy. Prices are going up on everything now. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, I, I paid $129. So I can see it went up $10, even though it's on sale and stuff like that. But, you know, I can see it went up already. So, anyway. <laughs> okay. So, everything's going up. But one of the things is, um, and Brilliance is usually the first module that you buy, right? And then it, as you want more functionalities and you know want, you want to be able to do more functions in the software, you buy additional modules, okay? So in, it, right here with Brilliance Essentials, it tells you right here, okay? It says you can merge designs, which that's a lot of things that I do. And I'll give you an example of that. Let's say that you bought an embroidery design, right? And you want to add words to it. You can do it with essentials, okay? Or let's say you bought one embroidery design and another embroidery design, and you want to put one on top of the other. You can do that with this one, okay? With this module, okay? So that's what they mean by you can merge the designs. You can also redesign, I mean, resize the designs. You can make them bigger or larger, and it'll recalculate the stitches, okay? So that's also a really good one. It removes overlapping stitches. Um, not sure about that, but because <laughs> I see overlapping stitches in some of my designs, but that's okay. Um, colorize. You get to print the templates and the printing the templates is really, really um, useful because when you have your embroidery design online, you want to be able sometimes to just print out the template so you can put it on the item and you can make sure that you're embroidering it exactly where you want it. And you can add lettering and that's when we're talking about when we buy the BX fonts, okay, the fonts with the BX extension. 
you add that to the software, okay? So for $139, this is not, to me, it's not bad. It's not, it's, it's a pretty good price to be able to do all of these things. Now, like I said, there are other softwares out there, like So What Pro and stuff like that, but I don't have experience in any of that, so I can't really talk about the pros and cons in that. Um, so my recommendation is if you are looking at the other ones, do a comparison so that you can see what's the best thing um, that, you know, that, that works for you. So that's what I would do, okay? Now, let me talk about some of the other additions that I have on there, okay? Now, when I bought this, I actually bought the thumbnailer. I'm going to be honest, I don't use that too much. Um, well, that's not true. That's not true. I do use it. I do use it. Okay. It, it let, okay. What it does with this is it, it with, you know, sometimes what happens is you have your embroidery files and all it does is it has the names. Well, with this, I'm allowed to see the icon. So I, I can look through my files more quickly and see the picture. Okay. But um, I'm like wondering, is the Mac doing that or is this doing that? So I don't know. So this is what I recommend you do. Look to see if you can see an icon of your files. If you can't, then for 40 bucks, this isn't a bad thing because it helps you to sort through your files a lot faster. That's just, you know, what I'm, you know, that's what I would do. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, and as you can see, if, um, and Brilliance works on both Windows and Macs. It says it right there. So, you know, it's just something, you know, to uh, think about. Okay. So. This is one that I use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, sorry, <laughs> my English, enthusiast, let me talk to you guys about enthusiast, you guys know how I have that video showing um, how I can use the 5 by 12 repositional hoop um, on the SC1900, well, in order to do that, you need to have the ability to um, create, um, you know, the uh, repositional hoops. So right here, it says it, it includes advanced uh, stitch file editing composition and automatic knockdown stitching. And you know what, you guys know, I use knockdown stitching a lot, especially if you are embroidering on things that are very, very fuzzy, like the blanket that I did with the, the lady's name, um, the little girl's name, Anna and Harper. I use knockdown stitches for that. So, you know, if you have like blankets that are very fuzzy, you want to give it a nice clean look. So the knockdown stitches are, I mean, I use them all the time. So to me, this, wow, we, wow, prices really went up. Okay, so it's $179 now um, for enthusiasts. Um <laughs> Wow, I, I'm just shocked. Man, this inflation really is biting. Anyway, anyway, okay, so let's get back to this. You you can't blame them though. You know what I'm saying? Everything's going up, so you got to right. So it is what it is. So all right. So the knockdown stitches definitely use that. Now here, when it talks about custom hoops, okay, that's when we're talking about when I'm saving it for the repositional hoop. Okay, to use the 5 by 12 for the Brother SC 1900. That is where this comes in. Okay, and stuff. So um, it says edit stitches, removes jump stitches, um, select um, portions of a stitch file with easy to use stitch selection tools. Okay, so um, to me, this is this is uh, worth it for the simple fact that I get to uh, create designs where I can use my five by 12 uh, hoop on my SC1900 and the knockdown stitches. Those are the two functions in Enthusiast that I use a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? Let me show you another one too. We're gonna go down the list because I kind of have the whole thing. I don't have alpha tricks and, um, but I do have stitch artists. I do have stitch artists, um, but I am not a digitizer. So I can't really talk to you guys that much because I bought this stitch artist 
because my husband wanted to try digitizing something. So that's the reason why we got it. But I personally do not use it. Um, and I have kind of tried using it to make some kind of projects, but I'm not that good at digitizing. So I, I can't really recommend not recommend, but I can't I can't give you an opinion one way or another on the stitch artist. So I'm gonna kind of stay away from that, me personally. Okay. All right. So let's go down to the other one that I bought. After I bought Enthusiast, I went and I bought Density Repair Kit. This to me was worth the money. Okay. I do have a video about this. All right. One of the things that I really like about this is that if you have an embroidery design that's very, very dense, okay, you may end up having a lot of unnecessary stitches in there. And if you look at the video that I did where I showed how to use this, you're going to see that I had some stitch designs that, you know, it was like, for example, 8,000 stitches. And then when I did the dense, when I ran this against the density repair, you know, I ran the density repair kit on the actual embroidery design. It took out like about a thousand or fifteen um, hundred stitches. Now, some people may come out and go, okay, Jeanette, well, what's the big deal? Well, I'm going to tell you what the big deal is. First of all, you have just removed a bunch of unnecessary stitches, which means you saved on thread. Not only did you save on thread, because some people may come out and say, oh, it's just thread. Well, you know what? You just saved yourself a lot of time, too, because you got to remember that if your machine stitches 650 stitches per minute, okay, and you just removed a thousand stitches, well, that's a minute and a half that you just saved yourself in time, okay? Um, so to me, that, that, was worth a lot. So I run this on every single embroidery design that I have. I run the, the, the density repair kit on it to make sure that I don't have any unnecessary stitches on there. And I mean, to me, it's, it's worth it. Okay. Now, do you have to have it? No, you really don't. But the thing is, I kind of like the fact knowing that I'm saving money on thread and I'm also saving time and to me time is money so it's kind of worth it to me so to me if i was brand new okay in embroidery and i you know you need something to start with the first the two that i would recommend that people buy is the if you if you're interested in the brilliant software is the essentials and the enthusiasts because i feel that those are the two that you are going to really use a lot OK, that's the one that I those are the two that I really recommend that if you have to invest in any. OK, and let's say money's tight because, you know, hell, everybody's money's tight. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, embroidery is expensive and the software is, you know, can be just as expensive as your machine, you know, especially good software. So but if you if you have to start off with any two, those are the two that I recommend, the essentials and then the enthusiasts. The enthusiasts, because the knockdown stitches, you are going to need it. Because it, you know, even though in the beginning you may not be embroidering um, things with a lot of fuzz, but think about it now. It's the holidays. People are going to want their stockings embroidered. Sometimes the cuff of the stocking comes with fuzz on it. You're not going to, you know, you. You can embroider it without the knockdown stitches, but I'm going to be honest with you, it's not going to look good once you peel off the topper, okay, the the, the water soluble uh, topping. That's not going to look good because then what's going to happen is the fuzz is going to start coming up between the stitches, and then after a while, it's going to look a little funky, you know what I'm saying? So if you put the knockdown stitches, it's going to give it a nice, clean, crisp look, and that's what you want and stuff. Oh my God, somebody at the door? No. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So let's talk about the next one that I got and I'm going through here. Let me see. I want to make sure that 
Okay, I see you guys are out there. And guys, I'm just going to go through this. Real quick. And then I'm going to go through your questions. And then if I have to, like, um, you know, bring the screen back up to show you something to answer a question, don't worry. I got it. Okay, I'll even bring up in brilliance if I have to, to make sure to help you guys out. Okay. The other one that I like was the Merly Patches. Okay. Now, um, I am not, you know, I, I am really still in that learning curve with the, the patches and stuff. Oh man, I don't even know where I put my patches. But anyway, I got, I, I started making patches. I got some videos on the patches. Okay. I really like the way the Merly, um, this works. So if you are into the patches, okay, then I, um, I recommend trying this. Okay. Now, as you can see, ooh, okay, that's $200. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I would, you know, look into it if you're interested in doing patches. I really like this because it has the borders and it also has the pre designs in there. Um, it also gives you a couple of fonts, okay, that are mini fonts that you can use for the patches as well. And I do have a couple of videos on the channel on using the, on, on how I use uh, Merly patches as well. So, you know, just wanted to show you guys that as well and stuff. I am going to go through the chat because I want to see if you guys have questions and stuff like that. Um, let me take this out because I want to make sure that you guys are okay with, with what I'm showing you guys. I just want to... Um, Make sure you guys are okay. Um, let me see. Because, you know, I, I know right now I'm talking. And I just, I always like to, to make sure that everybody understands everything that I'm saying. And that, you know, if you have questions and stuff, put them in the chat and I will answer them. Okay. And so I just want to, you know, make sure that I got everybody. So I see Iris. Hey, Miss Smiles. How are you? Hey, Sassy. Hey, Kathy. She says... Oh, see, she she likes it too. She says it's a wonderful software in brilliance. Yes, and I totally agree. I I like it. Um, I think it's very easy to use and stuff. And what I really like is there's a lot of videos out there to show how to use it as well. So I totally totally agree. Hey, Jill, how you doing? Happy Turkey Day! Oh, yes. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and stuff. Me and my husband had a good one. We went out to dinner. I don't cook. He won't cook. We always go to restaurants for um, Thanksgiving because that's what we like to do because um, nobody's cooking, nobody's cleaning and stuff. And, you know, we like to do those Thanksgiving buffets. So, I mean, it was pretty, pretty good. Oh, Eartha. Eartha saying she loves she loves it too. Awesome. And you know what? In the chat and stuff, put down, um, you know, what? what's your favorite feature of Inbrilliance also and stuff, you know? Hey, Robin. Hey, Miss Max. How you doing? Hey, Judy. She says, why would someone need Inbrilliance? Okay. All right, Judy. This is a very good question. Um, all right. It's not just that you would need Inbrilliance. You, you would need, eventually, you are going to want to um, invest in some type of embroidery software. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you why, um, when you are embroidering in the beginning, right. I'll tell you from my experience, when I first started, right. When you first buy your machine, you usually get like some designs that are preloaded, like on the brother SC 1900, you have some preloaded fonts and then you have some preloaded designs on there. So what ends up happening is, you know, you I started to embroider with those designs and I started adding the, 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 the names on them and stuff like that. But however, you become limited because you only have those designs that you have on the machine and then you just have the, you know, the fonts that are in the machine as well. So what ends up happening is then you start going to websites and you start finding different types of other embroidery designs that are really pretty and you want to try those out and you put them in. Now, what happens with embroidery software is embroidery software gives you a, a screen where you can show up your, your, um, your design and then you can add stuff. And you know what? Let me show you, let me show you some of the stuff that you can do. And I'm going to do this, guys. I'm going to show 
because I want to I want to show some of the stuff. Let's see. Present, share screen. Cuz I do have a uh, Let me see. I thought I had uh, in brilliance up. Hold on. Oh, I do. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can. Oh, there it is. All right. Okay. All right. So let me see. Do I have that in here? Yeah, I do. Okay. So Judy, um, I'm going to make this bigger. All right. So let's let's play around with this. So that way you guys can see exactly what it is that. Um, let me make this smaller here all right so this is the reason why people usually like buying embroidery software as you can see you end up with a screen now let's say right here i want i'm going to do something and i'm going to select a five by seven hoop okay hit apply hit okay this is a five by seven hoop now let's say that you want to create something like different for your friend right so I'm going to go in here and let me see if I can um, pull up an embroidery file. Hopefully I have one. Hold on. Um, e I might have one, might not. Oh, shoot. I don't. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. Um, I'm under desktop local. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me pull up a file. There we go. Okay, so let's say I have this um, this file. This is cute. This is a cute little Christmas file, okay? And let's say that I want to embroider this and I want to come out and I want to like, you know, resize it. So here I can resize it, right? I'm going to resize this and I'm going to put this right here. And then let's say that I want to add some, some names, okay? And stuff, I can select here and then i can just say okay let me um add a name um judy okay let's pick on judy <laughs> all right judy i'm gonna use your name and let's say i'm gonna i want to put your name in there and let me see i'm gonna pick one of the best fonts pretty fonts that i have and then right here, let's say I put Judy's or Judy. Um, see, and look, see, you can do this much easier. See, that's this is what I mean. And then let's say I want to pick the J. I want to make the, the J bigger than the other letters. And then I could put kitchen, type in kitchen, see? So if you want to make like your own little stuff like this, see? And then right here, then I would be like, oh, this is cute. And then you can make your own stuff. I hope I'm making sense to you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, when you have embroidery software, what it is is you can create your own designs. And then you can create, you know, you can to embroider them. You can add, it, it just makes it easier visually. And then also you can make modifications to certain designs too. Like for instance, let's say you, you see the little, three little grooms and I want to take away the snow, right? So I can go here and this is the snow and I'm going to hit delete and now the snow's gone. So I can make I can make modifications to designs. Now I don't have the snow. Now I just have the three little men holding the the lights and stuff. So that's um people do, you know, it, it makes things a lot easier and you can be more creative when you have um you know, in brilliance um software. So um that's why, Judy, that's why, uh, you know, but do you have to buy that actual so No, you don't. You can, you can, you can buy, there's a lots of other in, um, embroidery software out there, um, you know, so, but people do use um, embroidery software so that way they can be more, a little more creative in their designs and stuff. I hope I kind of showed you a little bit of, of what, 
you can do and stuff like that. Um, hey, Julie, i um, so glad you're talking about it, bro. Jeanette, I find it so confusing and no one to really guide me. Jill, ask away. Ask your questions and I will try to help you tonight to try to understand the modules and stuff. But like I was saying, Jill, I totally get it. That is confusing because a lot of people do get confused because they're like, okay, um, you know, they get into the website. And they're like, okay, this is in brilliance. And then they, they see all these different modules. They see all these different prices. And then you don't really understand what, what module provides what. Okay. So like I said, you know, um, what I would do is think of in brilliance as a lot of people say, think of it as a house just a shell of a house. So that's in brilliance essential. It's just the framing of the house. And then you wanna add some more functionalities to your house. Like you wanna add a kitchen, right? So to me, my kitchen would be enthusiast where now I can do knockdown stitches and now um, I can do repositional hooping, okay? So, um, you know, and then let's say, you know, oh, now I wanna do patches. So right there, that would be my living room. So I would go and buy the module to do patches. When you buy the modules, you actually, um, it's just a software that you download and you put the serial number in in brilliance that they give you. And then what, what happens is those functions get turned on in essentials. And then you'll see more buttons appear on the top and stuff like that. So, you know, my thing is when you are looking at this software, Think about what you need to do and then get the module that's going to help you to get to, to do what you need. You know, like if you want to do patches and you would do Merly, if you want to do a bunch of blankets and or and um, Christmas stockings and you need knockdown stitches then you would buy in enthusiast. Um, you know, if you just want to merge and resize like you saw that I just did, you know, that's just in brilliance essentials. Just, just get the essentials. And with the essentials, you can buy the fonts, the BX fonts. And you saw how I just typed Judy's name and all the fonts just showed up. I think that's awesome. I don't know if the other softwares have that capability. I don't have experience in them. But I do like that I can do that in Imbrilliance. When, um, when you use, when you don't have it, then what, uh, you know, you don't have the the BX fonts, and you can't use that in a brilliance. What ends up happening is when you buy the alphabet, you buy it in the, if you have a brother machine, you would use a PES format. And then what happens is you would have to open every individual letter at one time. So I would have to open the J, then I would have to open the U, then I would have to open the D, and then I would have to open the Y. And then I would have to put them together. So it, it, it kind of becomes more time consuming. So to me, and brilliance just makes it a little more easier to use, you know, and it, it makes it more quicker and stuff. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Oh, another one that loves it too. Hey, Iris. Hey, Map Designs. How are you? I see River. Hey, Miss Max. Eartha. Um, oh, River says she has So What Pro. Oh, River, I would love your input on if there are in the so because I know so what pro, if I remember correctly, it's kind of the price is comparable to essentials. But I don't know if so what pro has all the other added capabilities, the other modules of in brilliance have. I have, to, I have to look into that. I am not sure of that, you know? So I don't know if you can answer that question, River, but, you know, I'm just wondering because see, that's the, that's the thing. That's why I tell people, do your research when you're looking at embroidery software because what you wanna do is you wanna buy the software that's gonna be able to give you the capabilities that you want, okay? Um, if you can get... Uh, if someone pro has all those capabilities in there and you have a Windows machine, then I would say, hey, go do that then. You know what I'm saying? But I have a I have a Mac, so I, you know, I have to use that. Um, oh, Iris says she's the thumbnailer all the time. Hey Eve, how you doing? Um, I want to see what's in my folders. Yeah, Iris. I yep. And Eve says she's a Mac girl too. Yep. <laughs> 
Oh, Angela says, um, let me see. I have in brilliance, but I don't think my husband actually installed it correctly. I do not have the vacuum vacuum outcome icon. The vacuum out um I okay. The vacuum um icon, Angela, I believe that comes with a density repair kit. Okay. Um let me show you, let me go back in here. And let me show you about the density repair kit. Let me, I'm going to go right back in here. Let me, let me show you what it is. Okay, this is where it comes. So let's say I'm going to click on this, okay? Um, now, I don't think you could see. Oh, let me um, take out your comment from uh, StreamYard. Let me, uh, re let me hide you. Here you go. And then I'm going to uh, go back in here. Oops. Hold on. Hold on, because I want you guys to see the screen. Okay, let me show you about density repair kit. And I'm looking at my screen. I want to see if you guys can see what I see. Okay, you can. Awesome. All right. Now, as you can see, the little box, it has the three little men, right, holding the, the, the little lights and everything. If you look all the way in the bottom, and in, probably in your screen, it's very, very small, but I'm going to move my mouse, and I don't know if you guys can see. I don't see see a mouse moving there but anyway if you look oh yeah you okay you see the mouse right here it says stitches it says 12,986 right down there okay it says 12,986 so I have this highlighted okay right now and now I'm gonna go to that vacuum okay and that's the density repair kit okay and it says see how it says clean up stitches I'm hitting that vacuum, okay? Now, look at that number that says stitches. Now it says 11,991. So that means it eliminated stitches that weren't necessary for the design. That's what that vacuum is. That vacuum is part of the density repair kit. And that's what I like about it. What I like is that it, it, you know, you can look at your design and you can, you know, clean it up. You, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be so dense because I don't, I don't want to stitch out unnecessary stitches. I really don't because that's, that's wasting time. And if I got orders coming, you know, out there like crazy, then, I mean, time is precious to me. So, you know, that is, um, that's something that that's important to me and stuff. So, Anyway, but Angela, you the um the vacuum is is not um enthusiast. The vacuum comes with a uh, uh, density repair kit. <laughs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> hey Iris, how you doing? Hey Work by Faith. Oh yeah, Eartha said it. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey Monica, just purchased enthusiast and the thumbnailer last week. Oh, let's see. Oh, my husband got this for you for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I noticed a lot of people have reached out to me. That's why I said, all right, let me break it down this Friday. So because a lot of folks uh, are interested in it, but they're they're confused. They, you know, and I, I don't want you guys to like buy something and and it's not what you were looking for and stuff like that. And, and, and you guys get all messed up and everything. Um let me see. I saw, so I guess I'll do some research. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm sure the software has add-ons will come in handy for us. Um, let's see. Let's see. And really so user-friendly. That's what I need. Yeah, and I, I do like it. For me, it's, it's user-friendly as well. Um, I really like the layout. Um, I think they, they did a really good job in, um, you know, making it as simple as possible for people to understand um, and, and know how to work around it and stuff. Um, and that is one of the reasons why I was like, okay, thank goodness, <laughs> because I kind of got stuck. I thought I was going to have to buy a Windows machine and buy embroidery software, but um, I'm pretty happy with the product. So I, I'm okay, you know, with, with um, what it is. Um, let me see. Um, 
let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, make your dreams come true. Hey, Robin. Let's see. Oh, E says, let's get those uh get those likes, people. Hope you guys are liking what I'm showing you guys. Please ask the questions though in the chat. I want this Friday to be as interactive as possible. Uh, because that way I can answer your questions and stuff if you guys have questions about this and stuff um hey monica how you doing because i am going through that chat to, to look for any type of questions that you guys may have so i could try to help you guys out um hey monica um let's see and iris and at the same time say hi to everybody hey cynthia thank you so much for your help i almost gave up last year what cynthia no don't you dare give up you better not give up be a fighter girl be a fighter okay purchase my innovative 30, oh, congratulations. That's awesome. I think that machine comes with the six by 10 hoop, if I'm not mistaken. So that means that you can really do a lot of in the hoop projects and stuff. Um, have you done any videos on the alpha tricks? I just purchased, you know, Barbara, I have not purchased that one. Have not. Um, let me look into that. Let's see what that's all about. Hold on. Um, let me see. I'm gonna let me see what Alpha Tricks all about because I have not. Oops, there you go. Let's see. Share. All right, do I have that in there? I do. All right, let's see. Alpha Tricks. I have not gotten that. That's a good question. I have not got. Let me see. Um, alpha turns on originally alphabet designs with one file per character into t keyword lettering fonts. You can type in the brilliance allows you to amend and rename even purchase fonts you've installed. Oh, that's not, I kind of like that now. Okay. Now for you guys that are a little confused and say, oh, what, what is that? What is that Jeanette? Okay. Now. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch screens because I'm gonna tell you what this is about. And you know what? This might be a Merry Christmas for Jeanette now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to remove this. Let's go to in brilliance and I'm gonna show you what that is, okay? Um let me let me show you guys what what this is about. Share that. And is that in the screen? Yep, okay. If you look, all right, let me do a new a new screen and I'm gonna do a, a, another one, okay? All right, I'm gonna put my name, Jeanette, all right. Now, look over here on the side, okay? See all these fonts that I have that are popping up, this list? I'm gonna make sure you see it. I I know there's like a slow delay. Oh, you guys don't see it. Oh man, I don't think you guys can see it. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, you guys are not. It's not showing you guys. Okay. So what? Okay. All right. Well, I try. Okay. All right. That's fine. All right. What that is, is that when you when you are in brilliance and you go ahead and you select your, um, you, you know, you, you put in your font and you try to select the style, what ends up happening is when you import VX files into in brilliance, it's going to have what the company names it. Sometimes to make things a little easier, you may want to use your own naming convention and it doesn't allow you to change the name right so it's like if i buy fonts from stitchtopia it's gonna say stitchtopia squirrel font stitchtopia maya font um but in a way i'm gonna be honest with you i kind of like that for the simple fact that if let's say i'm using a font and somebody comes out and asks me hey Jeanette, where did you buy that font well obviously i'm gonna know i, pur I purchased it from stitchtopia because it has Stitchtopia swirly font. So I can actually tell the person, oh, it's from Stitchtopia and it's called the swirly font. If I rename it, 
then what's going to happen is I'm going to forget where I bought it from because I buy fonts from all over the place. If I got a font from Design by Juju, it's going to say DDJJ and then the name of the font, right? That's how it gets imported in Brilliance. But with Alpha Tricks, it's going to allow me to rename that to whatever I wanted to call it, you know, but it's a good thing. And but to me, it could also be a bad thing because, see, I'm an information sharer. OK, I like to share information with people. I don't have a problem with telling people where I got things or how I do things and stuff like that. So I kind of, for me, it's a benefit to keep the naming convention that the fonts come to me in. Because if I am doing a video and I show you guys how, you know, how I embroider a blanket, right? And I use the knockdown stitches and then I use the Maya font and somebody comes out and says, hey, you know, that's a beautiful font. What font is that? I want to be able to share that information and let people know I got that from Stitchtopia and it's called the Maya font. And, you know, I use the knockdown stitches and stuff like that. But if, if I rename it, I'm not going to remember where I bought it from. I know I'm not, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, um, I'll have to think about whether I'm going to get that alpha tricks or not. I, I'll have to play with that idea, Barbara. I don't know the, but let me know what you think of it, though. Hey, Ozzy, happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Oh, and he says he's thinking about getting enthusiasts. Enthusiasts, you're going to like it, Ozzy, because enthusiasts is where you get the knockdown stitches. And um, I think, Ozzy, I believe you got a multi-needle machine. I'm not, I'm not sure. Because if you have a multi-needle machine, chances are you have the big hoops. And if you have the big hoops and you really don't need the repositional portion of the, um, you know, for, for making designs bigger, right? So, but the knockdown stitches, I know you're going to love because that is something that I use a lot. I use it a lot, especially with the Christmas stockings and the blankets, especially with the fuzz and stuff like that. Use that all the time. So, you know, yeah. Oh, Walk By Faith says she has the thumbnailer. Uh, oh, she's having trouble using it. Try to reinstall it. Try to reinstall it and stuff. Because um, I, and one time, I think they did an upgrade. And also, that's another thing, guys. And let me um, show you this as well. Um, mm, I want to show you this also. Because this is something that not a lot of people know about. Okay, here we are in brilliance again. Okay, so where do I usually go? Okay, hold on. Let me, I gotta get my brain working here. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here he talks about the products, right? And here is where you can get the free stuff. Um, oh, and they have Stitch. I gotta get this for the AirPad, iPad, because I got, I got a new iPad and I wanna start doing that. Oh, frequently asked questions. I believe this is where it is. No, nope, it's not. Hold on. Give me a little. Here we go. Is this it? All right. Hold on. There we go. Oh, yes. This is it. Okay. Always go in this site. Where did I go? I forgot where I went. Okay. I think it's news. Is it news? Hold on. Let me make sure. News projects. It's not projects. Frequently asked. Social. No. I also want to show you something else, too. Well, there's two things I want to show you. Hold on. Um, All right, let's go back to uh, news. Okay. They usually have upgrades to this software, right? And they're always going to announce it around here. Okay. So right here, it has like a new and improved in, um, in Brilliance platform. They have an update. Okay. 
It, the updated was November 2021. So always look at the version of the in brilliance that you have and look for these updates. And then, uh, you know, up, you know, <laughs> update your stuff. <laughs> I guess that's what I mean. Because <laughs> notice right here um, in brilliance platform that 1.1, 1 1.173 update. Then before in July, they had the, the two. So go through here and always look to see if they have an update for any of your modules and stuff. See, here was another update. I know in thumbnail, thumbnailer, they had an update um, at one time. Here at the platform, see how they updated? Okay, so they, they do have some stuff in here. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to read down here. Let me see. I could have swore I saw something with thumbnailer. Okay. Woo, they got a lot of pages. Okay. But um, yeah. So, and here's an update for uh BX font ins installer. That was in back in 2019. Okay. Now there's another thing in here. I want you to, to also I want to bring this to your attention. Right here it says BX font designers, okay? If you are looking for websites, legit websites, okay, that have different types of embroidery designs, different fonts and all that kind of stuff, and you don't have to own in brilliance to go to these sites, okay? This is a perfect place for you to look at legit websites and what i mean by legit is these people have been vended through the company and they you know this is where you can actually buy good designs from okay so as you can see a lot of them are things that that we are familiar with um like designs by juju is on here designs by little b is on here i buy a lot of their um in the hoop projects and stuff Stitchtopia is part of this list but as you can see some of them are etsy shops some you know and some have their own website um there's a lot of good you know embroidery websites in here that have tons of different types of embroidery designs applique regular embroidery different types of fonts patches frames all that kind of stuff this is a really good place for you to you know look at good websites okay now the reason why i think this i really wanted to show you guys this is um because you really have to be careful out there guys there's a lot of scammers out there there's a lot of people that are stealing other people's work um and and a lot of people that are claiming to be digitizers that are not really digitizers and everything. So you really have to be very, very careful. Um, you know, so I just wanted to, you know, let, let you guys know about that section of Embrill. So even if you don't have the software and brilliance and stuff, that's okay. I mean, just go to there, go there and just go to that section and if you want, print out that list. You can print out that list and they have lots of websites where you can look for different types of designs for the holidays, for Valentine's Day, whatever, okay? I mean, they have a lot of places. So, you know, and those are really good. Um, this is a very good source. So I just wanted to make sure I share that with you guys and stuff and stuff like that. But Walk by Faith, um, try reinstalling that and see if maybe you can get that working again and stuff. Hey, Iris um hey monica um she said she purchased essentials last black friday and just purchased enthusiast and thumbnailer a week ago uh, and rita said she can't wait to get enthusiast wanted i wanted to get that not too long ago when it was just 149 but i couldn't afford it now it's even more it is oh i did oh the, I, i'm gonna check real quick Enthusiasts went up. Uh, let me see. Wow. 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 Yeah, Rita, it went up. <laughs> she said it was 149. Enthusiasts right now. 
is $179. That is a $30 increase. You know how many threads you can buy with that? No, <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> oh, this is not. Oh, wow. Okay. Times are rough. Times are rough. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah. That sucks. Yep. Um, yeah, Rita, that's, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I would be pissed. I'd be like, what? Uh, okay. Hey, Monica, um, just Google coupon code essentials and was able to get an extra 20. Oh, uh, there you go. Monica, Rita, do that. Coupon code, use a coupon code and stuff. Um, try to use my link too. They get a little commission. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, but use a coupon code and so let you know what? Let's let me I'm gonna look to see if I can find that coupon code. Hold on. And stuff and see if we can get that um thing because shoot, you say what $22? Oh Monica, put that coupon code out there. Let me let me see if I can find it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a Google, okay? Um and brilliance essentials. Coupon code. Uh, this week's coupons. Oh boy. Okay. Nope. That's not it. All right. Hold on, guys. I'm going to see if I can get you guys a sale. There you go. Okay. Oh, I sorry. I hope I wasn't too loud. Okay. Look for, um, there's a, there's a coupon code and I'm going to type it in here. Okay. You guys, hopefully it still works. Thankful 22. Get 10% off site wide. Okay. There's that one. So, oh, and here's another one. Get this code, 10% Black Friday deal. Hold on. Yep, thankful 22. Okay, so I just typed that in there. So, yeah, so if you if you use my link, <laughs> and then um, when you're checking out, put thankful 22, you should get an additional 10% off, okay? There you go. Thank you, uh, Monica, for uh, mentioning the coupon code. That's awesome. And so, hey, Karen, how you doing? Oh, my God, congratulations. She got her racoma. Congratulations, 15 needles. You're going to be rocking that now. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. You and the crafty Puerto Rican boy, you guys are going to love your racomas. And so, and crafty Puerto Rican, you know, I know she's probably not on because she's in Puerto Rico. She's enjoying the sun. So that's, you know, I see her little, her little, uh, her little videos and stuff. She's having a good time. She was, I think she was uh, drinking something. I think she was drinking a coquito or a pina colada, something like that. Um, let me see. Oh, Cynthia said, my innovative 36,000 found your video purchase and brilliance, and I've been so happy. Uh, you're gonna love that machine. Have fun, have fun with it, Cynthia. That's awesome. Oh, I got the light ahead of me and stuff. And then I got the fan going and stuff, even though it's cold in Virginia, but you know, sometimes you get those hot flashes. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, Iris, hey Angela, how you doing? Um, okay, I'm looking. Okay, how do you merge a design? Okay, from Marlene. All right, so it's really easy. Okay, I'm gonna let's see. All right, let me take this out. Let's go back to in brilliance. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys. Let's, let's let's do two designs. I'm gonna stick them together. Okay, we're gonna merge them, and you should be able to do that with just essentials merging the, the designs. So let me remove this here. 
And let's go back to each, let's see, window. Here we go. All right. Okay. I am going to, let's go in here. Oh, hold on. I want to make sure. Okay. All right. So let me take this out. Hold on. All right. Let's go to the first one. Okay. We got the little, we got the little men, right? And let me take out um, Judy's name. I don't want Judy to feel like I'm picking on her. I'm not picking on you. I love you, girl. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to get these little men. All right. And I'm going to make them a little bigger. Okay. And let me see if I can find another. Oh, that wasn't good. All right. Let me go to here. Okay. I'm going to see if I can find another. Um, Another embroidery file real quick. Okay. Oh, here goes. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Let's see. Um, hmm. Let's. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm trying to find a good design to show you guys. Here's a snowman. Uh, no, that's not a good one. All right. Oh, are you having a bad dream, Mello? Mello, wake up, Papa. Okay. He's sorry. He was uh, whimpered. I, th I think he was having a bad dream. Anyway, um, you okay? You okay, little guy? All right. And stuff. You shouldn't be having any bad dreams. You don't have a worry in the world. Oh, I hope you don't. Okay. Uh. Hold on. Let me try to. Uh... All right. Here you go. Here you go. This is a good one. Okay. All right. I got a, I got a soup. Let's say you got this soup, right? I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. I'm going to put it right smack in the middle. There you go. And let's say you want to put somebody's name on here. Okay. Well, that's adding. Well, let's say I want to add the the little the little uh the little men. I'm going to copy this. Okay? Now I'm going to put it on the soup. Okay? So merging is just taking one design and putting it right on top of the other. So let me take the soup and let me make the soup a little bit bigger. Make it real as big as I possibly can. Okay, that's as big as it'll go. Now I'm going to take my little Christmas men and I'm shrinking them. And I'm going to put them right there. So there you have two designs, one's right on top of the other, okay? So now what I usually like to do in these situations is I will go ahead and I will save the file. Well, I just made it smaller. So when you, when you have this, I usually go ahead and then I save it. I do a file, save as, and let's say I'm going to do I'm going to call it merge design. Merge design. Oh, I can't type. All right. So where am I going to put this? Mm. Uh, well, I'll, I'll leave it there. Okay, I'm going to merge design. Okay. So now I saved it. Now it's all one. Well, I think it, I just highlighted the soup. I just highlighted the soup. Hold on. But it's it's merged because I, I hit file, save, as. So now it's like together. So what I usually like to do, though, is I like to go to each of these sections, and I always run the repair kit because if you really look at it, it's like right now this whole design as is is 29,326 stitches, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the soup 
I'm going to run the repair kit, which right now it says 17,774. That just knocked it down to 16,800. Now I'm going to select the, the little men, which is 11, 5, 12. I'm going to hit the repair kit. That went down. Okay. So now my whole design is 28,371. But merging it is it's just putting one right on top of the other, and then you just hit file, save as, and then you just merged it. And then it's together. You got it all in one design. I hope I helped out a little bit. But that's that's how I do it. I just add it and stuff like that. So let me take that out. So I hope that kind of helps a little bit. Uh Marley, it's not that hard. It's just take one design, take your other design, just put smack it on top of each other, and then you just um, do a file save as and stuff. Um, in Brilliance YouTube chat, yes, in 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 Brilliance um, Earth is right. In 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 Brilliance does has its own YouTube channel. They have some really good videos on how to use um, different modules and also how to do different pro products with it too. Also, so yeah. Um. Let's see. Judy said, oh, so I should look into getting <laughs> Yeah, Judy, but Judy, this is my advice though, Judy. Get the free one first. Get the express. Get the free one first. Make sure that you like it and then and then see if it's something you want to invest. And this is the and try the other stuff. Cause um, I think the 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 lady just in the chat before she said she uses So What Pro. So, you know, just look into it. Look into different softwares and see what, what works for you, okay? And stuff. Hey, Eve. Um, thank you for the reference. Oh, you're welcome. Um, let's see. You just answered my question on merging the design. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm glad. Oh, refreshed my mind. <laughs> um, why is my screen repeating i don't know what you mean um by that oh you probably already know this but the rocoma uses format d dst yes and brother uses pes and i think viking uses hus because my girlfriend has a viking machine it's up hey miss parka um hey erva let's see Eve. um I do not have that square box like you do. Oh, okay, Eve. Um, the square box is the hoop. Okay, the, the reason why you don't have it, I'm going to add this on because I want to show this to you guys because a lot of people, a lot of people, um, I, I have gotten this question a lot, okay? This square, the square box that you see on there is the hoop. In order for you to see the hoop, and I'm hoping that you get to see this when I see when I do this. Uh, utility, no, I'm sorry, under view, and I don't think it shows. It doesn't show. Okay, I was hoping that you could see it, but oh, I know how how I can show you. All right, hold on, hold on. Instead of sharing in brilliance, hold on, hold on, because I want you guys to see this because it's it's important. Um, okay, hold on. Um, hold on. Okay. All right. Hold on, guys. There we go. Hopefully you can see this now. And I'm looking to see. Can you? Yes, you can. Okay. See where my mouse is? It says view. Okay. Now hit um, right here it has draw hoop. When I see how this is checked, uncheck draw hoop. See how my hoop is gone? Okay. Then if you go up here under, under view, click on draw hoop and there it reappears. Okay. And then also... If like, let's say you're working on a different size hoop that you need, right? You would go under in brilliance preference. 
And then right there is the hoops. And right here, it has all the different sizes. So like right now, what I'm showing is a nine by seven. I mean, nine by nine. But let's say um, you need a five by seven. Where is it? Did I skip it? I think I skipped it. There it is. Five by seven, hit apply, hit OK. And there's your five by seven hoop, OK? But if you don't see the hoop, if you don't see the drawing thing, check under view. And it's usually because you don't have draw hoop, OK? And another thing, I get this question a lot when they talk about the properties, OK? Um, a lot of times folks come out and they say, um, let me get another one. I'm going to add a font. And now you can see the fonts. You should be able to see this when I click on this thing. I want to make sure that you see that. Okay, because I'm looking at my iPad when I'm talking to you guys. There you go. Okay. See right here how it has, um, now I'm going to do it an S. This is what I was talking about earlier, how when I get my fonts and they're inputted in BX, you know, the, the from Stitchtopia. See, this is like when people ask me, hey, where did you get that font? Well, I know because like right here, this is the Stitchtopia Bella font. Um, Stitchopia Abbey Road font, uh, the Black Sea font, you know, and stuff. So show you. Okay. Now, the other thing, though, before I get sidetracked, sometimes I get sidetracked. Okay. Um, sometimes people say, oh, Jeanette, you know, I this box is missing. Oh, I shouldn't have did. Ooh. Oh, well, it's a kind of funky stuff doesn't look good okay there you go okay sometimes people say i don't see the properties fonts when you highlight the name you should see this over here on the the right hand side and this is where you have the properties okay if you don't see this you need to go up here where it has view manage views right here properties view now look i'm gonna unclick this and when I unclicked it, as you see, that box went away, okay? And so I get a lot of people that reach out and they say, I don't have that box. I can't find that box. And then I tell them, go under view, manage views, click properties views, and it pops right back up. Right here, you have the properties view. So you see, when I highlight that, I get my properties right back, okay? So um, yeah, that's how you do that. So let me uh, go back. Uh-oh. Okay. Did I mess up? Hold on. Ooh. Okay, hold on. All right, guys, hold on. I'm trying to get you guys back. <coughs> ah! All right, hold on. I think I messed up somehow. All right, hold on. No. All right. There you go. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Let me get this out. Woo! Okay. I thought I screwed up. <laughs> okay, I'm back. But um, that's how you get that box. Okay. Who was it that asked the box? I forgot. Oh, let me see. Probably don't know. Um, who was it? Oh, Eve. Eve. Eve says she didn't have the box. Okay, so hopefully that helped you, Eve. Okay. All righty. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go back. So what pro is Mac compatible? Oh, I didn't know that. So then maybe I should, I, you know what? I'll probably look into so what pro because I would love to see the difference and stuff because a lot of people like so what pro as well and stuff. So I would really like to, to do that. Yes, Lisa Shaw is someone that does a lot of videos and in brilliance, Monica. I watch her a lot too. Um, oh, Walk by Face, she has both. So what pro and the brilliance and to her and brilliance seems to be easier to use. Oh, and Julie says so what pro is $69. It does have the knockdown stitches. Oh, okay, then maybe that's something to look into. Okay. Because especially if, if the knockdown stitches, because I will say the knockdown stitches is really, really important and stuff. Hey, Miss Banks, how are you? How are you doing? Um, do you think we should fully understand essentials before 
adding other another program um not really not really because it's not gonna hurt anything um you know but jill i would just start slow because you want to make sure that no matter what you add to it you want to make sure it's something that you need and that you're gonna use okay because they could be like for instance like i bought the stitch artist and the stitch artist is really for digitizers um i don't really use it that much i really don't i mean i do use it sometimes but it's not i'm not a digitizer so sometimes i i kind of like think to myself did i really need that you know i could i could have done without i'm not sure so my thing jill is i would say start start slow and then um add things as you need it that's what i would do and stuff because things are so expensive now you don't want to like you know be you know spending money and then you find out oh great you know i bought this and i spent 200 dollars and now i don't use it you know even though i gotta be honest though i mean when rita put that in there and says you know <laughs> she looked at it, it was 149 then when we looked at enthusiasts again it was like <laughs> i was like whoa I mean, it's like inflation is killing us, you know, so I don't know. So Jill, I don't know. I mean, I would, I would, I would, you know, I don't know. I take it slow. That's what I would do. I would kind of take it slow and stuff. Um, hey, pretty eyes. How are you? Um, can too many stitches cause puckering of needle breaks? It can, it can. It's, um, because it depends on the density and needle breaks can call, can usually be caused by a lot of things too um charlie girl i mean sometimes it could be that the design is very dense sometimes it could be that you didn't change the needle you know because needles do get um bald you know um when you hear that a needle is knocking you know when you start embroidering a lot you kind of know what a healthy needle sounds like. And um, one of the biggest mistakes that I do find that a lot of people do is they don't change their needles. I usually, especially during this time frame, because right now I'm like bombarded with orders. Okay, I've had my machines running all freaking day. And um, I will say this embroidery happy hour, <laughs> I was looking forward to it because it's like um, the, the, that room is a little peace and quiet, you know? Um, I've had these babies running like crazy. So, um, and I was thinking to myself, oh God, you know, I'm in trouble because um, this is just right after Thanksgiving. So I could just imagine for the next couple of days, I'm going to be like, I, I just got to suck it up, you know, <laughs> do what I got to do, you know? But, um, you know, the machines after a while can really get to you. So anyway, then sidetrack. Um, when you embroider a lot, um, you know, you sh every eight hours, you should be changing that needle, okay? I changed, you know, especially during this time period, I changed my needles almost every day because I have these machines running. So um, I do use a lot of needles. I really do. Um, a lot of times needles do break because they become dull. All right. So, um, and also if you have a design that is very, very dense, and then also you're embroidering on very thick material, sometimes you're not using the right needle for that material that can cause some breakage as well. So, um, but these are all things that you're going to learn as you, as you start practicing and you, and you start to embroider and embroider a lot. A lot of this stuff is really going to come to come together. It really is. Um, let me see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. I'm trying to see here. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh wow! I got eighty-three people watch it. I only got five likes. Y'all better be hitting that like button. <laughs> Giving y'all a bunch of info. Wow, I only got five likes. Oh, well. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, Let's see. Uh, But I hope that helped you out, Charlie Girl. I hope that that helps a little bit. Um, Let me see. 
yeah and it can yeah and it can cause and the puckering um when you have a lot of times too puckering can be caused because you're not using the right stabilizer as well so you know just just know it's it's a, it can be a combination of things um let me see <clears throat> Oh, thought it was a good reason to buy that module. I like take, I, I always, I, I do like that because I like to uh, get rid of the um, unnecessary stitches. I really do. Um, if I purchase a scent, do I delete the express? I don't think so because I didn't delete mine. I just, I just purchased it and I just installed it, Susan. That's what I did. Um, But I don't think it'll hurt anything and stuff. Um, is essential on sale for Black Friday? I saw that it is on sale for, hold on, I'm going to look right now. Essentials right now is selling for $139. That's, that's, how, that's what I see. Um, it's selling for $139. Now, when I bought, which to me is not a bad price, um, you know, I still went up because I remember when I bought Essentials and, and I bought it about like two, I think three years ago, something like that. I remember paying $199. No, not $199. Not, no, I think it was uh, $129, $129, something like that. And I think I had a coupon code, so I may have paid maybe 119 or 120 something like that but it you know it's it doesn't seem to be that bad but use that coupon code that thankful um 22 that i put in there um you know so that you can get that money off and stuff so um yeah because I, I the coupon code is thankful thankful 22 and stuff and get that money off and stuff um let me see oh jeanette i'm having trouble using the repositional hooping okay to do the repositional hooping iris um you have to have um enthusiasts and let me show you how i'm gonna add add this back on okay and let me go over here i think i, I like this better because i get to show you guys exactly everything let me see i want to make sure that you guys can see everything yep you can't okay now all right let's talk about the repositional hooping here let's say that i'm going to change this and let's say i want to use my 12 by my repositional hoop okay i went under i'm going to go slow in brilliance and I select preferences, right? And then I got my hoops. Here it has hoop style. You have normal and then you have multi-positional. Click on multi-positional, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for the, uh, oh, I haven't done this in a while. You're gonna look for the five by 12 hoop. Ooh, where is it? Hold on, there it is, five by 12 hoop. Once you have that, you're going to hit apply and you're going to hit OK. This is your repositional hoop right there. OK. And that's how you do it. And then you create your design here. Now, usually what I'll do is I will take my hoop. And hold on. Preferences. Where is it? I rotate it. Ah. Did I do it wrong? Yep, because I clicked the wrong thing. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a minute. Where's my 5 by 12? Oh, I'm under normal. Duh. Duh. Apply. There you go rotate apply hit okay i kind of like working this way and then um i make my designs this way and then when i'm done i'll unrotate it and then i do a file save as 
and then if you guys notice it's really what you're doing with repositional hooping is you're creating two separate five by seven files okay and you're going to have a top file and a bottom file so you know because usually when i'm done designing it right like let's say i want to make this like super big and i want it like that like i did in the video with the towel this is what i want right and then what i'll do is after i'm done designing it i'll go back under preferences and then i will um it keeps going like that i don't know why <laughs> hit apply you know and then i'll just like turn it like this and then i save it and then i do a, a file save as and then what it'll do it'll save it as a top file and a bottom file that's how i do that so hopefully that helps you uh let me remove that hopefully that helped um but iris that's usually that's a common mistake that i find a lot of people do is that they forget to select multi-positional hoop but remember um within brilliance um let me see i want to try to add that that screen in here okay um remember in enthusiasts in this module enthusiasts right here this is where it says custom hoops okay so that's where you need you need this in order to do the custom hoop so you have to have the embrilliance module in there because it helps you with the repositional hoops and stuff so um yeah all right so let me uh get that out of there all right so hopefully that helps you um hey Annette um let me see I would like to embroider a border on my tablecloth the, you know they have a lot of cute iris they got a lot of cute embroidered um border designs and stuff um how do you transfer this into a file I never I never buy okay I have never gotten a CD what I usually do is I bought it directly from the Embrilliance website. Um, and what you do is you just download it right from the website. As soon as you finish um, purchasing the software, then um, once you purchase it, you can automatically download it onto your machine, okay? And it gives you the serial number and everything. So I never mess with the CD. I never, you know, I know that you could get it from Amazon, but... I just prefer to do it directly from the, in, um, the, the website. And to be honest, I think it would be easier. It would be better to do that. Just go directly to the website and um, and get it from there and stuff. And then like, uh, and, and this is the thing, you know, if you buy directly from their website, you use their coupon code, you get to use, get their discount. So I, that's what I would do. And I wouldn't even um, bother going through Amazon or any other type of 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 uh you know party and stuff like that and i have the links in the video description so that way it takes you straight to the website and stuff and then you can just download it instantly you know just create an account and download it and stuff and it's always going to be available to you to down re-download and then what i like about in brilliance also is that it, you could you know you buy it and you can install it on as many of your machines as you want so like i have um i have my macbook which i you know i like because i have to meet with customers sometimes so sometimes if i'm working with them and they want to see what a logo may look like or they want to look the different types of fonts to add to a logo right then i'll take my my uh macbook and I have in Brilliance loaded on there. And then that I can bring up the software and I can show them how the fonts are gonna look, the different styles that I have and all that kind of stuff. And then I also have it loaded on my iMac downstairs and I have an office downstairs and I have it loaded there as well. Because sometimes I'll have a customer that comes in, 
right? And sometimes I just want to show them on the screen really quick. And I have a big screen down there so I can show them down there and they don't have to come upstairs. And then I have an iMac up here. And then <laughs> this is the one that I usually work on on a daily basis when I'm editing and designing. And sometimes I edit and design on my MacBook as well because I like to go, you know, I'm on the go. You know, so I like that you get to um, install it as long as you have your username and your password on the Embrilliance uh, website and you bought the product, you can always download it on your machines and, you know, you have your serial number and, you know, you just do your thing. So, yeah, but I, I don't I don't bother with the CDs. I think CDs are something from the past. I don't even think people have CD drivers anymore, you know? Um, yeah, so, hey, Martina. I'm <laughs> so glad to find this channel. Oh, well, thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Yes, coupon code, thankful22. Guys, you guys know how I am about money, okay? <laughs> you know, if you're going to be spending money and stuff like that, make sure you use that coupon code okay save that money and stuff um oh my god it's 9 30. you know it's funny because i saw the post on our facebook group where it's like embroidery happy hour and then <laughs> harmony put i always talk about i'm gonna be like two hours or something i was thinking to myself okay i'm gonna do it brilliant so i'm just gonna do it for an hour here we are an hour and a half but it's just because i want to make sure you guys get the information you <laughs> know and I think you guys, you know, I think you guys understand me, you know. Um, if you purchase the essentials in a CD, how do you transfer it to your computer? You're gonna need a CD writer, uh, uh, reader. And this is the other thing, Anita. I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to reach out, and maybe not. If your CD, hmm. What I would do is, well, you should be able to log on to is in Brilliance Essentials. And the CD probably came with a, um, a serial number. You should be able to download it from the website and put it on your computer without using the CD. You know, I would, you know, I don't know how you purchased it. If you, per you know, if you purchased it, from a third party, um, but I would reach out to Embrilliance Essentials and ask how you're going to do that because you're going to need a CD uh, reader in order to download it and stuff. Um, if you want to buy the software, check with your sewing shop. Many cases they run sales on their embroidery softwares. Yep, sometimes they do. Yep, I never did though. I just went straight on in Brilliance Essentials and I just bought it straight from there and I used a coupon code like um, Monica is, is saying there. Um, enthusiast was 169, now it's a little higher. I wonder, the coupon code is good too. I wonder they hiked that price up, <laughs> you know? Hey Cheryl, how you doing? Yeah, uh, Mello's over here now with a bone, with his little bone and stuff. Let me see if I can move this so you guys can see him. You want to say hi to people, Mello? You want to say hi, Mello? Mello, look. You want to show people your bone? Look at that big bone. Oh, look at him looking the other way. Anyway, go take your bow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let me see. Is there a coupon code for the density repair pro? Cynthia, you should be able to use the thankful 22 for for any of the can you hold on? Or is it just essentials? I don't think so. I thought you I thought you were able to use that for anything. Hold on, let me check. Let me check. Nope, for anything. So, um, where are you? Um, oh, who was it that asked? Somebody asked. <laughs> Let me see. Um, okay, the coupon code 
is for the entire website. It says 10% off the entire in Brilliance website. Thankful 22. Okay. My stuff. And I have the link on the video description and stuff. So if you click on the link in the video description and then you put thankful 22, get that 10% off. Okay. Um, let me see. When I save as working and stitching, my PS file is split up into different files. It's not just one. Okay, you're not doing anything wrong. Okay, let me explain that, Julie. Okay, hold on, because I got my throat scratchy here. All right. A working file has an extension of a BE. Your embroidery file has the extension of PES, okay? You're going to want those two files. And if you look, I'm sure you'll see them. And I'm going to tell you why. When you are working on the file, right, and, you're, and you design it and it's pretty and it's exactly how you want it, you're going to do file save as stitch and working. And then, like I said, it's going to save it in two formats, a BE and a PES. When you go and you open that PS file, that file is now static. You can't make any additional changes. It is what it is, right? But let's say you came out with a beautiful design and you put Julie's Kitchen, right? With a gorgeous design. And then you went file save as working and stitching, right? So you open up the PS file that says Julie's Kitchen. Well, I like your towel. And I come on, I say, okay, Julie, can you bake one for Jeanette? Well, you're going to find that you can't change Julie to Jeanette. So what's going to happen is you have to open the file that has the BE extension. The BE extension is the working file. And that's the file that's going to allow you to change anything that's in that design, the wording or change the colors of the design and all that kind of stuff. So I hope that's what um, what I'm, I'm explaining to you. But when you do save as working and stitching, you're looking for a you're not you're not splitting it up. You know the the file is split up in two different files. You should see a BE. So look for the BE extension. That's the working file. Um, Yes, Monica, you are able to apply Mighty Hoop sizes in Embrillance as well. I do have a video on that, on how to import your, um, your Mighty Hoop uh, sizes on there. So if you look in the channel and type, uh, I'll show you, I'll tell you right now. Hold on. I'll tell you right now what the name of the video is. Um. Oh my goodness. Mala. Where are you? Okay, hold on. Let me go to the channel and I'll tell you exactly what to look for. Oh boy. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think it's input um input mighty hoops. And then brilliance. Let me see. Hold on tell you exactly where it is okay all right search for creating new hoop sizes in in brilliance okay monica so if you type in if you go to go to this channel and you type in creating new hoop sizes in in brilliance i show you exactly step by step how you can add your mighty hoops into in brilliance so that way when you're using in brilliance you can select your mighty hoop and you have the frame for that for that size okay um let me see let's see as for stitching and the other file is working yep and you can make your edits yep okay um 
Oh, Miss Max has so what pro, so right, and so art. So I wonder if that's like a whole suite, a whole a separate suite. Yeah, I never use that, so I don't know, but I'm gonna look into it because I'm pretty um, you know. Let me see. Oh, but my stitching file is broke up into more than one file, so I can't put it on USB to stitch because each file only has one part of a design. That means that, okay, if you have it broken up, that means you saved it for a multi-positional hoop. And if you saved it for a multi-positional hoop, that means you have the top portion and the bottom portion. So you would go ahead and you would embroider one portion and then you would border the next, but you need to make sure you have the multi-positional multi, uh, hoop so that you can do that. Um, let's see. Hey, Earth, Julie, you may have the repositional open your software and it's splitting it into two. Yeah, maybe you have that selected by accident. Yeah, Earth is right. You could have selected that. You need the normal one. If you select the normal one, then you, you're you okay. Um, let's see, when merging designs in the brilliance, are you in reference to actual multiple designs or just be excellent? I, hey, Ms. Parker, I actually merge um, embroidery designs together and I do um, add the BX fonts as well. So I do both. Merging works if you have two designs. Like let's say you have a heart, okay? And then you have a picture of uh, a little teddy bear and you wanna put the teddy bear on top of the heart, you can do that. You can do that within Brilliance Essentials, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, you can use the repositional hoop with Essentials. I, I'm i not sure if you can. I would give it a shot and see, Eartha. If you have that option, great. But from what I read on their website, I think you need enthusiasts. But folks, if that if that is the case, then good. Then that means that all you need really enthusiasts for is if you want the knockdown stitches. So before you go out there, you know, check to see if um, if you have that option for multi-positional hoop. And you know, but the thing is, unfortunately, I got all my software all at once, so I'm trying. You know, it, it's kind of hard for me to to remember how things were broken up. So, but if you have just essentials, okay, and you want to do the multi-positional hoop, see if you have that option, okay. And if you have it, you're golden. Don't worry about it. Then you're good, okay. And if it saves it into two files, then you're golden. But if you see that that's missing. It could be that the the enthusiast is the one that's needed. Okay. Um, Jeanette, if you double click on the word hoop at the bottom, it will rotate your hoop. Oh, okay. That's a little shortcut, I see. Hey, Nancy. Um, yeah, Nancy, my sister is um at awe because she had she is babysitting. A mini golden doodle, which I'm kind of like, oh, I should have went to Florida because if I would have knew that, I would have dropped off Mellow too, and she would have been going dog crazy. So she's in she's in heaven right now <laughs> with the little dog. Um. Okay, Jeanette, what is the weight of the bobbin threads you use? 40, 60, 90, which is the best to use? Okay, I'll tell you right now, pretty eyes. Let me look. Hold on. Oh. No, I don't want to. I don't want to mess with you. Sorry. All right, hold on. Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. All right, hold on. Okay, I use the glide, the mega glide. What are these? These are, hold on, I'm looking. I don't want to tell you guys wrong. Um, what is that? 60 weight. 60. I'm using 60. Okay, that's the one that I'm using. 
you know um what are best to use i don't know i mean <laughs> but i know the ones that i buy are 60 okay um pretty eyes so yeah uh hey sassy um ah thank you <laughs> let's see uh two. yep Mello has a four-legged cousin <laughs> Nancy needs to buy a dog. That's what Nancy needs to do. She needs to just pony up and buy a dog. I know she bought a bird and she loves her birds, but you know she got a little parakeet, Sunshine, but she needs to just buy buy that um buy that dog. Um, yes, Mello has a new bone and he is out there. Mello says, "Don't bother me." Yep, that's right. He says he's enjoying his bone and stuff. So, okay, let me see. Um. I think I got everything. Okay, guys, I am hoping that I kind of helped you guys a little bit in understanding and brilliance. I know that it can be really, really confusing and stuff. The other thing also is, like I said, there are a lot of different softwares out that out there. Just like I say, when, when you're buying your embroidery machine, right? You want to make sure that you get the machine that's right for you. Okay, an embroidery machine is a big investment. The same thing with the software. Software is just as equal of a big investment as well, because that is what you're going to be using in order for you to really be creative with your embroidery designs. So you want to make sure that you find the software that is right for you. Now, I'm not saying you have to get in brilliance. That's only the experience that I have is within brilliance. So that's all I can really talk to you guys about, um, you know, I'm sure that the other softwares out there are good as well, okay? I mean, they have to be, or they wouldn't be a market for them, right? People wouldn't be buying it. People would be saying that it's crap and they wouldn't be getting it, right? So, you know, I personally, if I was in the market for it, I would look around to see if I could get free versions of the different ones that are out there. So that way you can do a comparison and see what software you're comfortable with. Because you want to make sure that that you feel comfortable, okay? This is not supposed to be like a black experience, okay? So, you know, hope you guys found tonight helpful. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps the channel and stuff. And if you guys have topics or anything that you want me to, you know, um, talk about or explore and stuff like that, um, just let me know and, you know, I'll do the research and we can do um, an embroidery happy hour on that. I'm going to try really hard to try to keep these at an hour. I really am. Okay. Because um, I, I, I really value everybody's time. But please understand that at the same time, it's just that I really want to share this information with you. And I don't want, you know, us to like just have an hour and then like sometimes, you know, you, you guys get shortchanged, right? And I, you know, and I, there was just so much more that I could have told you, you know, and I, I do talk a lot. I know that, you know, I, I know I'm a talker. I, I really am. Um, I do have some topics coming up for the other embroidery hours that are coming up um, just to share really quick. Um, trying to open up my thing. Um, I was thinking about maybe um, talking one friday about you know the holiday rush okay feeling overwhelmed uh, trying to give you guys some tips on what you can do um also uh let's talk about some affordable holiday gifts i was thinking about doing that another friday don't go broke okay um i think that would be pretty neat so that way we can share gift ideas also um you know especially we have the gift exchange that's happening right now where everybody's supposed to have their gifts by uh, December 15th in the mail. So, you know, I think that maybe I'll do that next Friday. I'll talk about the uh, affordable holiday gifts and stuff because that'll help give you guys ideas and stuff like that. Also, I, um, one Friday, I am going to talk about uh, customer service horror stories. Okay. Some of the, you know, difficult things that you might have to deal with if you're dealing with customers and embroideries. And, um, I was thinking of doing maybe one Friday of life of a embroidery business owner to let you guys know how I started, 
um, things that I, I've done well, things that I've kind of regret and stuff like that. So I'm, I've been thinking about little topics to talk to you guys about and everything. Um, and today was in brilliance, um, how I use it. So, you know, I said, let me, let me, um, talk to you guys about in brilliance because I was like, if it's on sale for Black Friday or something like that, um, that way you guys can, uh, you know, see, oh my goodness, I got another sale. Okay. So I can see my sales are really going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to go crazy this year. I really am. This is going to be bad. <laughs> All right. So anyway, it's a good thing. And then it's a bad thing. But okay, no rest. All right. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this embroidery happy hour. As always, I really do um, treasure our Friday nights together. I really do and stuff. And if you guys have an opportunity to watch my sister's channel, that would be awesome. Her channel is Gifts HQ. She is really into quilting and knitting. And she has been having a ball with her knitting machines. I mean, it's like she's in heaven. She's in knitting heaven and stuff. And her, she always goes live on Saturdays at 12. And that would be awesome. You guys can join her. She also has, in the very beginning of her lives, she does trivia. And it's kind of fun. You know, I never get them right. You know, I don't know where the hell she gets these questions from. But, you know, um, you know, she's got some contenders in there that people are going in there and they're going in hard and they're, they're get they're knowing the answers to these questions, which is kind of fun, you know? Um, so I kind of really enjoy those and stuff. So anyway, hopefully you can join her tomorrow, um, at noon. And like I said, her channel is gifts HQ and stuff. So guys, I am going to call it the night because I can see already. I got like four, <laughs> four more orders in. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's going to be a long night. So I, wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's going to be a long night. It is. Okay. So time for me to put my hair up and turn these machines back on and um, keep working. <laughs> okay. So I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a good one. Please be safe. And I hope you guys all enjoyed Thanksgiving. And I will talk to you guys later. See you later. Bye.